Now, as I'm sure you know, we're not fans of diesel on this programme. We think it is the fuel of Satan. But in the summer, I drove one of these. It's the E-Class Mercedes Diesel Saloon. And then I noticed something strange. These are the figures, OK? This is the petrol one, this is the diesel. The diesel is more powerful, same 0 to 60, faster, much more economical, cheaper, and, as far as I could tell, no noisier. And that got me thinking. Maybe, while I've been wearing my blinkers, something strange has happened. Maybe all diesel cars are now OK. <laughs> This is a diesel-powered Volkswagen Lupo, so we all know what to expect. It'll make the sound of the farmyard and accelerates like a dog on a rug. Or is that wrong? Well, let's find out. Actually, I like the Lupo. I like its mad face and its tininess. Best of all, though, it doesn't feel like a small car. I know it's more expensive than all its rivals and the boot is pathetic, but there's an enormous amount of space up here and a sense of what the Germans call cavality. Obviously, you shouldn't listen to those people who say, oh, we can't tell it's a diesel under the bonnet. Sounds just like a petrol, because it doesn't. It sounds like it's been fueled with sandpaper. But, crucially, it's not so noisy that I can't hear Ken Bruce's Popmaster. Oh, I'm going to give me the titles of three UK single chart hits for Squeeze. Three Call for Cats, Labelled with Love, Up the yep. Junction. Come on, useless man. Easy. I love people's faces in traffic jams. Oh, is it so miserable? Could be worse, you could be shot in the back of the head by a marksman. <laughs> yes, almost certainly. Listen, the thing is, it is faster. I promise you, James, I, pr I, I prom promise you it isn't. What, it... I, I organised a race this morning around the track. In the wet, the petrol lupo was six seconds quicker. That is eternity. On, on the motorway, track. 50 to 70, you put your foot down in the diesel and the bloke and the petrol one's fishing around. And also, if I can just think back to when you were driving that 5 Series, you said you were driving the 3-litre petrol, you've driven the 3-litre diesel, and I'm quoting, and it was astonishing. Yeah, the, the big 3-litre BMW engine is astonishing, as that Mercedes one is that you drove, but on a small hatchback, OK? When you drive one of those and it's a diesel, it says three things about you. One is, you're tighter than two coats of paint. The second one is that you care so much about the environment that you want to leave a little protective sooty film over it. And the third one is, you're probably French. I suddenly remembered why I don't like talking to you. So I'm going to go and talk to my best friend, the little one. <laughs> Here's another new Ford. It's called the Vsauce. And look at this shape. Very cutting edge. And then the interior. Wow. And those dials, they're all spangly, clever, up-to-the-minute computer stuff. And there's no mirrors. Look, cameras instead. Oh, yeah. It's a very modern car, no doubt. But look a bit more closely. And look, there's these grills on the flank, and then the shape of this window. Now, you can't fool me. If Ford ever actually make this car for real, this is the new Capri, no doubt about it. Tell you what, though, you know in the olden days when people actually had Capris? They always had the bonnet up on a Saturday tinkering around with the engine. Fettling. Exactly. Well, nowadays, people always fiddle around with computers. Yeah. So what this has got, which is amazing, well, if they ever get around to putting a bonnet in it, which they haven't at the moment, it'll have a... Plug. It's, plug, plug port, port thing. You put your laptop in it and you'll be able to adjust, like, the rev limiter and the suspension settings and everything. But it goes further than that. It's very clever because once you've got your laptop plugged in, you can then uh, log on to the internet and you can actually download specifications and settings direct from Ford, and better than that even, you can then exchange data with your mates and their Vsauce. So if you got one, I could set the rev limit at, like, 1,500 RPM. Have the headlamps flash every time we went above 10. <laughs> not, not quite what they meant there, really. Or they? even better, if you get stuck behind one on the road, what you could do is dial up its computer from your laptop, Bluetooth, mobile phone, speed him up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 50, and that's... then just apply one of the rear brakes. Yeah, that's just stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Were you in any way unwell when you recorded that? Well, actually, I did have a really bad dose of the pox. That explains it. <laughs> because anybody whose eyes were working properly would recognise that this is the ugliest <sighs> thing. It is!
is. It is a it's superb the first looking car, car. Ever where children will be sick before they get in the back. Rubbish. <laughs> we'll have a vote. Right. Hands up, everyone who thinks it's ugly. I didn't prompt them or anything. <laughs> now hands up those who think it's not ugly. You see, all the ones who've right. left their glasses at home. All right, all right. <laughs> you are an executive. This is going to take a bit of imagination. You're an executive, OK, and you're going to buy a new car. You're not going to buy that S-Type Jag, are you? It's no. a great drive, but you wouldn't let your kids sit around with their mouths open like that. No. <laughs> E-Class Mercedes. Now, you've got a Mercedes. How much have you enjoyed it over the summer? No, I haven't. It's been in the shop the entire time. It goes in, it's broken, it comes back more broken and goes in again. That's right. pretty much Mercedes ownership. These so you're days. not having one of those? No. You're not having an Audi A6 because it's too old? Uh, no. You're not having a Kia Magentis because it's I stupid? Might. No, you wouldn't. No, you're right, I wouldn't. And you're not going to have an Alpha 166 because nobody would buy a new one? Yeah. You, Jeremy Clarkson, you are the European Director of Photocopying, brackets, toner, distribution, you will buy one of these. I've suddenly decided I don't want to talk to you anymore.